Davri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 31. Now, when all this was finished, all Yashadael that were present went out to the cities of Yahudah and broke the images in pieces and cut down the Asherah poles and threw down at the high places and at the altars out of all Yahudah and Binyamin in Ephraim also and Manasseh, until they had utterly destroyed them all. Then all the children of Yashadael returned, every man to his possession, into their own cities. And Yahiz Kiyahu appointed out the courses of the priests and the Leviim after their courses, every man according to his service, the priests and Leviim for burnt offerings and for peace offerings to minister and to give thanks and to praise in the gates of the tents of Yahweh. He appointed also the king's portion of his substance for the burnt offerings, to wit, for the morning and evening burnt offerings, and the burnt offerings for the Shabbatoth, and for the new moons, and for the set feasts, as it is written in the Torah of Yahuwah. Moreover, he commanded the people that dwelt in Yerushalayim to give the portion of the priests and the Leviim that they might be encouraged in the Torah of Yahuwah. And as soon as the commandment came abroad, the children of Yashar'el brought in abundance the first fruits of grain, wine, and oil, and honey, and all the increase, rather, and of all the increase of the field, and the tithe of all things brought they in abundantly. And concerning the children of Yashar'el and Yahudah that dwelt in the cities of Yahudah, they also brought in the tithe of oxen and sheep, and the tithe of holy things which were consecrated unto Yahuwah Elohim, and laid them by heaps. In the third month they began to lay the foundation of the heaps, and finished them in the seventh month. And when Yahiz Kiyahu and the princes came and saw at the heaps, they blessed at Yahuwah and at his people Yashar'el. Then Yahiz Kiyahu questioned with the priests and the Leviim concerning the heaps. And Azariahu, the chief priest of the house of Sedok, answered him and said, Since the people began to bring the offerings into the house of Yahuwah, we have had enough to eat and have left plenty. For Yahuwah has blessed Eth his people, and that which is left is Eth this great store. Then Yahiz Kiyahu commanded to prepare chambers in the house of Yahuwah, and they prepared them, and brought in Eth the offerings and the tithes and the dedicated things faithfully, over which Konan Yahu, the Levi'i, was ruler, and Shemi, his brother, was the next, and Yahil El and Ezaz Yahu, rather, Ezaz, rather, Ezaz Yahu, and Nechath, and Ase El, and Yerimoth, rather, Yerimoth, and Yazavad, and Eli El, and Yimach Yahu, and Mehath, rather Mehath and Beneyahu were overseers under the hand of Konan Yahu and Shemi, his brother, at the commandment of Yahiz Kiyahu the king and Ezar Yahu, the ruler of the house of Elohim. And Kor, the son of Yimna, the Levi, the porter toward the east, was over the free will offerings of Elohim to distribute the oblations of Yahweh and the most holy things. And next him were Eden and Minyamin and Yeshua and Shemeyahu, Emariahu and Shachanyahu in the cities of the priests, in their set office to give to their brethren by courses 
as well to the great as to the small. Beside their genealogy of males, from three years old and upward, even unto everyone that enters into the house of Yahuwah, his daily portion for their service in their charges according to their courses. Both eth to the genealogy of the priests by the house of their fathers and the Leviim from twenty years old and upward in their charges by their courses and to the genealogy of all their little ones, their women and their sons and their daughters through all the assembly. For in their set office they sanctified themselves in holiness. Also of the sons of Eharan, the priests, which were in the fields of the suburbs of their cities, in every several city, the men that were expressed by name, to give portions to all the males among the priests, and to all that were reckoned by genealogies among the Leviim. And thus did Yechiz Kiyahu throughout all Yahudah, and wrought that which was good and right and truth before Yahuwah Eloheyu. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of Elohim, and in the Torah, and in the commandments to seek his Elohim, he did it with all his heart and prospered. <laughs>